Now we are going to share the word of God. Ujube kuhusu at the feet of Jesus Christ. Ufikapo miguni mwa Yesu what happens? At the what happens at the feet of Jesus Christ? What happens at the feet of Jesus Christ? Now sijui kama umejua in the Bible Uh, katika Biblia utagudua kwamba mara kwa mara watu walifika pali panaitwa miguni mwa Yesu There are so many instances where people fell at the feet of Jesus Christ Na hatujawahi in most cases we don't research we don't get to know ni nini hicho hutendeka hapo there are so many positions kuna nafasi nyingi na hali nyingi uh, tuko nazo katika ibada lakini kuna hali moja leo nataka mujue na hapo dipo bwana ananiambia kanisa lake limo anataka wewe ufike miguni mwa Yesu uiname hapo usujudu hapo amen something you happen hallelujah now ukiangalia biblia kitabu cha Matthew 15 verse 30 Utaona vile katika wanafunzi katika Yesu alipokuwa akieneza injili how people would get to the feet of Christ and things happen Katika Mathayo 15 aya ya 30 Wakamwendea Asante Wakamwendea sorry makutano mengi wakimletea viwete vipofu make sure you are there Matthew 15 verse 30 kuna haja kubwa nayo likisoma unajua ni hili limesema hivi nimelielewa that's very important hiyo ndio njia moja ya kuwa na nguvu Mathayo 15 verse 20 wakamwendea makutano mengi wakimletea viwete vipofu mabubu vilema na wengine wengi wakawaweka miguni pake nataka muangalie there's there's a situation katika huduma ya Yesu whereby people brought the sick and desperate people situations za watu viwete na nini mtu angekocha na kiwete tu Yesu ako wapi anamwangusha miguni mwa Yesu Kipofu ndio hiyo miguni mwa Yesu. Na it's interesting kwamba wagereta hawagonjwa wanawacha hapo. And the Bible says wakaweka miguni pake akawaponya. Akawaponya. Amen. And great multitudes came unto him having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed and many others and cast them down at Jesus' feet and he healed them. Amen. Nataka tuagalie. Mahali hawa wagojwa waliangushwa. Mahali hapo wale mafu waliangushwa. What, what is that now? Ninini hiyo? Let's, let, let's agree this. Eh? Is it possible ata wewe uwe na mgojwa na kuwe na that experience? Although uwoni yesu na macho. Ujue no hisi kwamba now my mother, my dad, my brother who is sick, nimemfikisha miguni mwa Yesu na hata toka hapo bila kupona. Is it possible uombe and you sense and now nimefika hapo. Hallelujah. And now mwenye ananisubua, mwenye anateseka, mwenye ambao nimemlia miaka yote, now I sense nimemfikisha miguni mwa Yesu. That is very important. This position has unique experience. Now, wakati ambapo, kama mimi kuna, kuna wakati I've been delivered from fear, from, ah, I tell you, kama kuna wakati ambapo, nimewai pokea amani every day, is when I discover, now I'm bowing at the feet of Christ. One thing nataka muelewe, Huwezi fika miguni mwa Yesu na usimame. Huwezi. Huwezi. 
By the way, do you know hata ibada, ibada, wale mnaongoza ibada hata kwa fellowship. Kuna mahali wa ibada na ujue sasa kanisa imefika miguu ya Yesu. Remember when we were teaching about worship. Ukienda katika Psalms. Katika Psalms. I hope bibi yako iko na Psalms. Psalms 95. Uh, now, ukiangalia wakati watu walikuwa wanatoa ibada kwa hekaru. There is this experience and I know you can discern this. Katika Psalms 95. Uh, Nomari hii Psalms inaitua ni muito wa kuabudu na kuti. Is a call to worship bow a call to worship, a call, a call to bow before God, a call to submit to God. Johnny to muam to muimbie buana, to fanye shangwe muamba wakovuetu. Oh come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Hallelujah. To Jebelezake kwakshukrani. Not to Kosams 95 verse 2. Tuje bere zake kwa shukurani. Tumfanyie shangwe kwa saburi. Ehe, verse 3. Kwa kuwa buwana ni mungu muku. Na mfaume muku juu ya miungu yote. For the Lord is great God and great King above all gods. Yes, amen, amen. 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 Nataka muangalia how you approach God. Dio fika miguni mba Yesu. Jabu rakwaza asema, Johnny, tumfanyia shangwe mwamba wakovu wetu. Amen. Why are we doing it? Kwa sababu, mungu ni mku. Ni mfaume mku. Juu ya mungu yote. And then, ukieda vaswa asema hivi. Mukono ni mwake zimo bode za nunia. Hata vilele vya milima ni vyake. Bahali ni yake. Die alio ifanya. Na mikono yake iliumba inchi kavu. Joni tumuambudu. Na ukiangalia jabra kwaza nangia nini? Tumfanyie shangwe. Sinikweli. The first call ni tumfanyie shangwe. Na inadezea who is our God. Uku wake uko vipi? Mkoni mwake akona nini? Bahari ni zake. And then, ukienda verse 6 sasa, sasa hawambiwi ufanyiwe mungu shangwe. Unaambua sasa, jo tuwabudu, tusujudu, tupige, magoti bere zake alietuumba. Now, this one says, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let me say something. Ka mutu yoyote alie fika migunu ma yesu. Kitu kimoja utafanya bila kuwabua. You bow down. You bow down. Ukita kujua mutu amefika hapo. Utaona you cannot stand. Where is mama? One thing. Where is mama? Where is mwangalia hivi? You bow down. Now, one thing I've come to discover, nikifika hiyo level mimi, mimi usikia Yesu ako hapa. There are times I bow before God and I sense he's just there. Amen. Sisiki sasa kwa biguni ya te, let me talk about worship. Worship, ya inahi, ni wakati ambapo, you really praise God. You praise God. Una muinua. Una muinua. Mpaka sasa Jehovah na shuka. Akishuka mutu hujua. The glory has come. His presence has come. You bow down. Miguni mwa Christo. That time ikifika. There are several things that should happen. 
wapendo wa, wakati Mungu ameshuka katika ibada na katika maombi yako na katika huduma kuna mambo hutendeka right there amen kusujudu miguni mwake now kitu cha kwanza ni kwamba you bow at the feet of the king of kings no kifika hiyo level we call it kingdom level sema kingdom level sema kingdom level oh my god i worship you amen hallelujah amen do you know friends there are so many things allowed us eh na kama shetani atakuogopa ni atakapojua umeweka nini kingdom level Watu waweza kukusumbua vile wanataka. But the moment they discover umefika pahali ufaume hunena na pahali nguvu iko na pahali mamlaka iko. Watu sasa wanakuacha. There are things that must leave you. There are attacks that must desert you. There is a condition that must cease when you get to the kingdom level amen hallelujah hebu sikiza katika hii mambo ya imani kuna mambo haitawezekana until you change your position hata kama wewe unaomba kiasi gani hata kama ni nini kuna mambo haitawezekana mpaka shetani ajue umefika mahala bwana yuko Hallelujah. As long as uko uko nje hata kama una imani gani hata kama una nini you still have a problem. But the moment utafika miguni mwa Kristo unafika pahara abapo that is final word. Pahara abapo kile kiko sasa ni ufaume. Ukiwa nje yes unajua ufaume huko lakini hujafika mahali ufaume unaongea. Ufikapo miguni mwa Kristo you do not see the mountain ambao kuna kitu nataka muelewe katika maisha kuna mambo inuka unajiona wewe si kitu Satan uses strange things strange sounds strange threats mambo yanakaa kama mlima And right now friends I know by the grace of God I can detect kuna watu katika ibada hii either umetishwa na mtu au bere yako kuna kaa kitu kikubwa kama mlima and you are struggling na kimekupatia stress one thing the devil does is to bring a situation so big and threatening mpaka ukisimama tu unasikia wewe maisha hata kama unajua Mungu yuko ukuu wa mlima ule ukuu wa matisho haya unaja kwa akili the reality of threats the reality ya huo mlima the reality ya hiyo ugonjwa the reality ya hiyo tisho inakuwa kwa akili sana kwamba although you know God is there the reality ya hayo mapigo is so much clear and fresh in your brain kwamba unakosa hata amani na sometimes unajipata unaweza gojeka but i want to say i want to introduce this ufikapo miguni mwa kristo kile kiliitwa mlima kile kiliitwa tisho ya watu kile kiliitwa impossible amen unafika pahara ambapo miguni mwa kristo you get to the finished work of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Unafika sasa na unapata kazi iliyoisha wakati Yesu alishinda kifo na akashinda yote. If I is interesting kwamba ukifika miguni mwa Kristo yeye aliyeshinda kifo yeye aliyeshinda hata kuzimu yeye aliyeshinda wanadamu yeye aliyeshinda dhambi na mauti ufikapo hapo unapokea matokeo ya ushindi huo you never struggle again pigeni huyo yesu makofi haleluya 
Oh my God, I worship you. Nifikaa hapo mbinguni mwa Kristo. I tell you haijalishi ni nani amenikibisha. Haijalishi wapendwa ukuu wa maovu ya dunia hii. Kila ninachopokea ni Yesu mwenyewe na ukweli wa ushindi wake alipofufuka kutoka kwa wafu. Na si hiyo peke yake. Nampokea Yesu aketipo kwenye mkono wa kuume wa Mungu Baba vile Yesu huogea hivyo ndio nampokea nifikapo mbinguni mwake the way he operates from the right heart of God the Father that's how i get and i fight Jesus Christ hallelujah and i want to tell you friends i want to introduce that office i want to introduce you to the feet of Christ mara ambapo kifika vile Yesu huwa kwenye kiti cha enzi that's what you feel vile Yesu alishinda kifo akasema imekwisha that's what your mind inapata and that's why miguni mwa Kristo one thing i notice ukinama mbele zake ah things change i have come to feel a very deep thing at the feet of Christ Amen. Bwana sasa sana. Kwamba Bwana sasa sioni mambo ambayo nilikuwa naona na kuona yewe unapotawara. You see Jesus ako mkononi mwa Mungu Baba akiwa muombezi. Ako mkononi mwa Mungu Baba akiwa wakili wetu. Ako mkononi wa Mungu Baba akiwa ametukuka juu ya enzi zote na faume zote. Ako mkononi mwa Mungu Baba ili katika mkono wa Mungu Baba atupatie ufaume. Amen. That's why wakati pita aliponya ule kiwete alikuwa amekaa kwa beautiful gate katika Acts chapter 3. Aliposimama kuongea, aliambia hao watu. Akasema nyinyi watu wa Jerusalemu hata masedukayo kama mwataka kujua ni kwa jinsi gani na ni kwa jia gani mwenye alizaliwa akiwa kiwete ameponywa jueni leo kwamba Yesu mliye msurubisha hayuko kaburini amefufuka na amekaa katika mkono wa kuume wa Mungu Baba and Peter said kama angalikuwa katika kaburi jina lake haligeponya na akasema do you know why he is healing anaponya kwa maana hiyo ndio tabia ya ofisi aliyo naye sasa oh my god the office of jesus the right hand of god the father na kwa maana amekaa hapo sasa hii ndio tabia tumepokea kwa hiyo ofisi mimi nilipoenda kwa kiwete nilijipata nikiongea from that office nikamwambia tembea i say friends kuna mambo utaongea from that office Jesus I worship you. Jesus I worship you. That's why Bible inasema katika Akrosai tatu inasema hivi I hope you have your Bible Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. Inasema hivi Basi mukiwa I hope unaweza ku access that. Basi mukiwa mumefufuliwa pamoja na Kristo. Yatafuteni yaliye juu. Kristo aliko. There are things that belong to us. Na hayo ndio mambo tukipokea hii dunia itatutisha. Mambo yaliyo juu mahali Kristo aliko. Ameketi mkono wa kuume wa Mungu. Yafikilini yaliyo juu. Note ukisoma Akrosai tatu moja na mbili inaongea kuhusu two things ya tafuteni yaliyo juu ukienda verse 2 ya fikilini yaliyo juu did you get that ya tafuteni yaliyo juu and verse 2 ya fikilini yaliyo juu i say brothers ofikapo miguni mwa kristo jambo la kwanza my god you do this utapata yaliyo juu utafikiri yaliyo juu amen sio yaliyo katika inchi if you notice kile kinakusumbua sasa sio yaliyo juu ni yaliyo katika inchi 
Lakini baba sama yafikilini ya yaliyo juu sio yaliyo katika inchi verse 3. Kwa maana mlikufa na uhai wenu umefichwa pamoja na Kristo katika Mungu. Kristo atakapofunuliwa aliye uhai wetu ndipo na ninyi mtakapofunuliwa naye katika utukufu. May the Lord bless the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na leo ningetaka kukuambia kitu. Kuna mambo ambao itaanza kutokea maishani mwako. I sense there are people struggling katika akili zao na mambo yaliyo katika inchi. Kuna mambo yaliyo katika inchi hii. Kuna mambo yaliyo katika boma yako. Kuna mambo yaliyo katika inchi na kwa hivyo imekusumbua. Now God agetaka uyashinde. Na jia moja ni hii, yatafuteni yaliyo juu. Yafikirini yaliyo juu mahali Kristo ameketi. Hapo ndipo uponyaji wa kiwete aliyezaliwa akiwa kiwete ulitolewa na pita alipompata kwa geti ya kanisa. Amen. Amen. You know, you know people have thought about the statement Peter alisema. If you check Acts chapter 3, Peter alisema hivi. Akasema hivi, kiwete tuangalie. Look at us. Akawaangalia. Akawaambia nataka kukuambia kitu yes. Dhahabu na fedha sina. Hallelujah yaliyo katika inchi yaliyo katika inchi wewe ni kiwete umezoea kupewa mabaki ya guo mabaki ya pesa mabaki ya ugali mabaki ya lunch mabaki ya mapato mabaki ya shopping akamwambia yaliyo katika inchi about dio na peago viwete hiyo sina leo i'm not giving what men give to the lame <laughs> hallelujah Naomba kwamba Mungu akufikishe mahali ambapo yaliyo juu yatakuingia. Kwa maana utapelekea watu mambo yaliyo juu sio yaliyo katika inchi. Inchi ina inflation. They are saying now inchi iko na inflation. They, they are talking I, 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 I saw CNN yesterday. They are talking about recess wild inflation. And um You can imagine now mm -hmm, president wa America akilaumu Russia sababu ya resources and I, 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 I don't know Russia imeshika dunia wapi. Nasema ni hao wamesababisha kuwa na inflation but let me tell the truth. Kama kichwa chako hiyo kichwa kitajaa yaliyo katika inchi na kwa hiyo utaumia sana. Utaumia. Wacha inchi mahali unakaa ujirani there is a lot of things going on but bible sema hivi yatafteni yaliyo juu sio kwamba yaliyo juu na ni yaliyo juu ndio yaje hapa ndio tusikae na yaliyo chini bila yaliyo juu yaliyo juu yaje yafikirini yaliyo juu where mahali kristo ameketi baada ya kushinda kifo hapa baada ya kristo kushinda hapa alienda pale kumaanisha kwamba aliye juu alikuwa hapa na anajua kushughulikia mambo ya hapa akiwa juu kwa maana hapo juu amepata baada ya kushida ya hapa Are you understanding the office Jesus has at the right hand of God ameipata baada ya kushughulikia yaliyo chini Aliye shughulikia yaliyo chini akayamalizia ako na jibu ya mambo yaliyo chini akiwa juu and that's why jesus hakuna kitu ajui hakuna kitu yesu ajui hakuna ako juu sana lakini ni yeye pia aliyeenda chini sana according to ephesians 4 verse 10 aliyeenda chini sana ndiye aliyeja juu sana avijaza vitu vyote ako juu sana lakini ako na majibu ya chini sana yatafakari yaliyo juu kwa maana aliye juu ndiye alingangana na yaliyo chini na ako hapo kwa maana ako na majibu ya mambo yaliyo chini pigeni Yesu makofi 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, and that's why Peter na bia kiwete. Kiwete, yaliyo chini ni haya. Wewe hupewa miaka yote mabaki ya chakura. Yaliyo juu ni haya. Na kupatia migu utembe. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> I pray that you bring the kingdom, friends. This, this kingdom. Yaliyo chini yanasema mutoto hata soma. Aliye juu anasema hata soma. Ni kama wakati wa Elisha. Yaliyo chini yanasema watu wanakula mafi ya jiwa na vichwa vya punda na hata wameanza kuwa watoto na kuachoma wao chakula. Aliye juu anasema kesho saa kama hii kwenye lango la Samaria unga msafi utauzwa kipande kimoja cha fedha aliye juu amenena na yaliyo chini na ameleta ya juu chini ndio ya chini iondoke juu itawale chini i say kingdom has come hallelujah and that's why at the feet of jesus juu huchukua pahara pa chini kingdom takes over kingdom takes and that's why utashanga mimi nimeshanga saa zingine ni kama kuna exchange program vile nilikuwa nikifikiria nakuta sasa nina ufunuo nina ufunuo sikwa naona jia nimeiona already kingdom level sema kingdom level <laughs> oh ya fik we ya tafuteni aliye juu kwa maana hapo juu anayeketi hapo ako na majibu ya chini kwa maana alipata ofisi ya juu baada ya kushughulikia chini na kaya shida kama utakaa chini bila yeye aliye juu chini takuweza Jesus alikalia kiti cha enzi ndio walio chini wapate majibu kutoka juu and that's why naambia Peter kasaba Jesus amefu amepe huyu miguu kiwete kwa sababu ya ile ofisi amekalia amekalia ofisi ambayo inaitwa the right hand of God the Father jina lake halegi ponya kama angekuwa gari kaburini Jesus kama kwa kitu atakamjue hii ofisi mnasikia Yesu amekalia at the right hand of God the Father si ya biguni Kristo hakai huko kwenye mkono wa kuume wa biguni kwa ajili ya kwa ajili ya bingu ya malaika no ni kwa ajili yetu hapo yeye ni kuhani hapo yeye ni wakili na hapo yeye ni muombezi wa wale walio chini are you hearing this the office of jesus at the right hand of god the father ako hapo kwa sababu ya wale walio chini wewe uko hapo can you hear this you have an office in heaven ah uh, muti habari yenu habari ya maofisa wa binguni how are you officers in heaven i tell you something at the right heart of god the father you have an office you have an office there ukisema yes unakupenda they say yes anatuita huyu huyu ni wetu na na kristo akiwa hapo hizi kazi tatu anafanya actually kazi ni ine. ya kwanza yeye ni kuhani wangu kule are you understanding Niko hapa lakini binguni ninakuhani ako hapo because of me. Yeye ni muombezi wangu kule. Yeye ni wakili wangu kule. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. And that's why wakati Yesu alikuwa hapa akaambia wanafunzi wake mambo makubwa kupita yale ni mumeona nikifanya mtayafanya if you check your record wakati Yesu aliongea that state alisema hivi mtafanya mama kubwa kwa sababu nimeenda kwa baba ninaenda hapo to make sure your things work <laughs> haleluya ni kama leo mwangi atoke busia aambie watu wa busia sasa watu wa busia mimi sasa ndio state house controller Abia <laughs> dugu yake kafivi naambia kinakeholia mjiandae 
mutakuwa na magari ya maana makesi yenu itashughulikiwa hamtakaa pale marashi ni mutaama why kwa maana nimeenda kwa baba state house <laughs> nimeenda kwa president niko hapo mahali mambo inapitishwa mahali pesa inapitishwa mahali macheki ya mabilion inapitishwa mahali million si kitu kikubwa mahali pesa tunagawa kwa yote i'll be there uambie sasa your sister agnes agnes yandae scholarship at, eh, eh, chagua ile inchi utaka scholarship ni india ni america una wapi unaangalia sasa kuna ancom huu nataka kwenda india mwambie muandaeni within next one uh, within one month ataenda india why nimeenda pahali actually i'm the controller of state house kisa makwaba because ninaenda mahali guvu iko na mahali mapo upitishwa na mimi nitakuwa kuhani hapo nyinyi mlio chini i give you guarantee you shall do great things because of how i represent you there amen in the time kama utajua siri ya ofisi ya kiti kikuu cha Yesu biguni one thing you notice ukifika sasa miguni mwa Kristo actually let me tell you ukifika miguni mwa Kristo actually umefika mahali Kristo ameketi and you sense there's nothing big actually kama ulikuwa unaumwa let me tell you kama ulikuwa hata unaumwa unapona kama ulikuwa confused mambo inaisha chochote kilikuwa kigumu nasikia there's way now there's way now amen hallelujah badara ya kuona mtu you know sometimes kuna watu wanakuinukia you don't see them anymore at the feet of jesus that's where the office of the right heart of god the father operates power free na hapo dipo kama kuna mastaka na mapigo you don't sense them in fact unapokea amani ya boss ya kawaida amen praise god miguni mwa kristo is the place to lay your sacrifice hapo dipo mtu usikia sasa kuleta dhabihu yake na ukiangalia biblia vizuri katika kitabu cha genesis 14 wakati Abraham kwa alikutana na Melchizedeki Biblia inasema hivi katika Genesis 14 verse 18 Ebu tuanzie verse 17 Abraham ap, aliporudi kutoka kumpiga Kendolama na wale wafaume walikuwa pamoja naye mfaume wa Sodom akataka kumlaki katika bonde la shawe nalo ni bonde la mfaume haya na Melchizedeki mfaume wa Salem akaleta mkate na divai naye alikuwa kuhani mkuu wa Mungu aliye juu sana akambariki akasema Abraham na abarikiwe na Mungu aliye juu sana muumba bingu na inchi ahimidiwe Mungu aliye juu sana aliyewatia adui zako mikononi mwako Abraham akampa fungu la kumi la vitu vyote amen haleluya no one thing Melchizedeki anaitwa mfame wa amani hakuwa na mwanzo na hakuwa na mwisho Of course katika tafsiri mzuri tunasema huyu uh, huyu alikuwa kama Kristo pre-incarnate Jesus Kwa maana Yesu alisema hata wakati wa Abraham alikuweko Ni vile hakuitwa jina Yesu Kristo na alikuweko Sasa katika hii hali anaitwa mfame wa Salem asiye na mwanzo na asiye na mwisho aya Abraham amempata alipompata miguni mwake bila hata kufikiria na sijui nani alifundisha Abraham mambo ya fungu la kumi lakini alijipata miguni mwake 
amempa fungu la kumi. Na ukiangalia katika Luka 7, Luke chapter 7, Luke chapter 7, Luka mlango wa 7, aya ya 38. Akasimama nyuma, I hope, hebu tuangalie, tu, tuanze verse 36. Luka 7, 36. Mutu moja katika mafalisayo, alimualika ale chakura kwake. Akaingia katika nyumba yake, yule falisayo, akaketi chakulani. Udiasa ni Yesu wamealikwa. Na tazama, muanamuke, tukasa Luka 7, Aya that seven. Na tazama mwanamuke mmoja wa muji ule alie kuwa mwenye dhambi aka, aka, alipo pata hambali ya kuwa ameketi chakulani katika nyumba ya ule mfarisayo alireta chupa ya mali mali yenye maham ma, 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 ini nini ah sawa sawa Ito, alireta uh, uh, anointment that's we call anointment ambayo ilikuwa na nukas uh, ya harufu nzuri sana manukato ya jabu akasimama nyuma karibu na miguu yake akalia akaanza kudodoshea miguu miguu machozi yake na kuipanguza kwa nywele ya kichwa chake akibusubusu miguu yake na kuipaka yale marham marham uh -huh. And then, basi ule mfalisayo, now we are saying this, at the feet of Jesus. <coughs> Siju kama umaijua kitu, kuna wakati mutu unaambudu, unafika experience hii ya migu ya kristo. Na ukifika hapo, utajipata kuna sadaka unatoa, ambao, Si wewe kama mtu ulikuwa umeamua kutoa. Si hali ya kawaida yako kutoa sadaka kama hiyo. Si hali ya kawaida yako kumwaga sadaka kama hiyo. But kuna wakati unafika at the feet of Jesus unajipata unatoa the bihu. Unatoa sadaka Unatoa sacrifice Ambao kawaida Kawaida si yako Now this is a place Ambapo hauta ondoka Bida kutoa thabihu Na this kind of sacrifice Inakuwa kama atonement Ukijua ibada mtu wa meomba mpaka Akafika migunu mayesu Hauta odoka bila sadaka abao siya kawaida. A sacrifice. Unasikia tu mungu wa meniguza leo ni mtolea hii. Mungu ni mesikia mwoni mwangu. Niweke hii migoni mwake. Amen. Hallelujah. And sometimes kama ulikuwa, there are times unasikia mungu wa nakuambia, na, na nikitu kina tokea, kwa ajili ya nyumba yako, Weka miguni mwangu hii. Kwa anjili ya machozi ulio mwaga. Weka miguni mwangu hii. Kwa anjili ya watu wengi ulio mbea. Weka miguni mwa kristu hiki. Kwa anjili ya dugu zako ambao umeombea wagonjwa. Wanapona. Na weka miguni mwa kristu hiki. Kama uja waifika hapo. Ujue uja waifika vizuri kwa hiyo breakthrough. Whereby you just sense kuna kitu abacho unataka kuweka miguni hapo na jambo la kwanza ambao mtu ustukia unataka unasikia ungetaka kuweka the most expensive the most expensive unaingia kwa mfuko unakuta no 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 kile ambacho nasikia miguu ya Kristo inahitaji sina and and i tell you friends Sometimes you work out. Usema, nataka kutafuta kitu. Kwa maana nipo fika miguni mabwana. Nisikia kumtolea thabihu wa bosi ya kawaida. Amen. Na hiyo thabihu, dio, 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 
ndio unagudua kwamba inakuwa upatanisho na inakuwa sauti inaofuata wewe na kazi zako ukifika hiyo level mama faith ukifika hiyo level you sense god want you to give a sacrifice and i've sensed that in i remember one time to read a mkutano of fundraising a, a, a christian university na kuna hii missionary aliangalia watu wakitoa akasema mimi ninge i sense something aliongea kuhusu a sacrifice i think of 69 million akasema kuna kitu nasikia sacrifice amen hallelujah na ukifika level hiyo kuna kitu utagudua hiyo dhabihu inakuwa sauti mbele ya Mungu it always speak it always speak may god guide you to that level in just christ name hata katika maombi yako sometimes ukienda kufunga kuna wakati mtu ukifika hiyo level niliomba mpaka nikahisi nimefika migoni mwa Kristo a place where you lay your sacrifice now migoni mwa Kristo jambo lingine utendeka hapo ni kwamba kuna sauti ya muujiza the voice of miracle the final voice for miracle ukiangalia story ya Bartimaeo kitabu cha Mariko Mark you discover something in the book of Mark chapter 10 Mark chapter 10 now verse 46 says wakafika Jericho hata walipokuwa wakishika jia kutoka Jericho pamoja na wanafunzi wake na mkutano mkubwa mwana wa Timayo Batimayo yule muobaji kipofu alikuwa ameketi kando ya jia nataka tuangalie the three positions za Batimayo position ya kwanza ameketi kando ya jia haya katika posi- every position has a title katika maisha ya Batimayo position ya kwanza ameketi kando ya jia na title yake akiwa hapo ni muobaji kipofu have you noticed that anasema kwamba palikuwa na muobaji kipofu aketie kando ya jia that's one thing now if you proceed on bible nasema naye aliposikia ya kwamba Yesu mnasaleti mnasaleti ni Yesu mnasaleti alianza kupasa sauti yake na kusema mwana wa Mungu Yesu unirehemu na wengine wakamkemea ili anyamaze lakini alizidi kupasa sauti mwana wa Daudi unirehemu now this second position ni wakati ambapo akili akili ya mwenye ameitwa kipofu maskini inabadilika although anakaa kando ya jia akili yake imeanza kukataa hayo maisha na kujua yeye ni nini aweza pata ndani ya Kristo now this second position is the, is this way although unakaa korogosho although una ugojwa fulani although biashara yako iko chini kiasi gani hapo umekaa kando ya barabara you sense Kristo mwenyewe anakutembelea na unahisi katika Yesu yeye hu, wewe huitwa nani na akili yako sasa hata kama uko kando ya njia inahama na inaanza kukimbilia mahali ambapo Yesu wako haleluya and that's why mnaona jamaa anasema hivyo ujue ujue akili imebadilika now mtu akiwa kipofu maskini na akako kando ya barabara ako na tambia pia ya kushushwa ako na tambia ya kwamba kuna mahali huwezi tembea 
uko na tambia ya kuwa stigmatized kwamba wewe sio tu kipofu aliye kando ya barabara sio tu maskini aliyo kando ya barabara hata wewe you are socially discriminated taito ya mtu hufanya watu wampage taito ya mtu na mahali unakaa hufanya hata watu wenu wanaopanga mambo they categorize you na huyu asikuje Have you ever known katika family sometime unaweza ito mkutano wa family come together kwa maana wenu wa damu yao lakini kifika special visit hualikwi walipoenda gishagi family come together uliitwa because you are brother lakini walipoenda pahali huwa anaenda dinner na watu wengine pale restaurants hukuitwa kwa maana kategori yako inaruhusu tu uitwe mwana wa mtu kama batimayo aliitwa mwana wa mtu lakini hairuhusu socially uende pale fulani are you understanding na wapendo tusipogudua miguu ya Yesu vile anazofanyia sisi tutateseka sana kwa maana kuna ofisi yako na kuna utajiri wako na kuna heshima yako na utaipata miguu mwa Kristo I declare this by the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the feet of Jesus will reintroduce you. I said the feet of Jesus will produce you. The feet of Jesus will reintroduce you. Oh watu wetu mlio kaa kando ya barabara naomba miguu ya Yesu sasa ijulisha watu wewe ni nani kwa maana watu wanakujua vile wanakuona lakini Yesu anakujua vile ulivyo ndani yake Bible yasema katika yeye umetukuka in him you are complete Bible says we are complete in him he who is above all principalities and powers and i said to you friends waonekana kama ni mjinga unajua kuna statement unajua wakati watu wanasegenya mtu mi naomba tu wapendo kila mshirika wetu hapa usiagukie mikrodi mwa mtu na gaiwe wale yako naomba kila mtu hapa usiagukie mikrodi mwa mtu na kama ni mtu kwa mtu ni mikono ile Mungu ameamuru si ya kawaida. Amen. Unajua <laughs> nasikiaga wa mama akisegeja saa zingine kule Geshagi. Kienda. Sasa unaona kama huyu? Unaona Jeroge? Unaona Atieno? Kwa kikuu anasema ni atikiti dhuru kalimwe. Atalipokuwa kiudwa na Mungu. Eh? Alibakisha kupikwa kidogo, hakupikwa vizuri. Asema kiko ni atigeti hizo kalele. Mimi I don't like hearing that. Avai nikae pahali peke yangu nisikie mtu. I don't like I don't like hear people. Because najua akisema hivi hata mimi na hata wewe. Do you know hata wewe kuna mtu anaogea hivyo kuhusu? Somewhere. And I I I I, I always like to uh, kupea watu freedom kuongea hivyo lakini nisiambiwe waliongea na nisikie kama naweza ongea na nisiambiwe aliongea na nisikie I'm okay. Kwa maana hiyo ni mambo yake. Haleluya. Tigeti dheruka. Ah, I don't like that. Haleluya. People judge others. Let me tell you the truth. Nyinyi mlio hapa. As long as wewe ni mshirika wetu, there's an anointing speaking concerning you. There's a standard in this church that is speaking. Na kuna mtu ataachwa nje. Labda katalia kwa barabara. Kwamba miguuni mwa Kristo sisi kama batimayo. Ni haya kawaida uko na jina kando ya jia. Muombezi, muombaji kando ya jia ni maskini sawa. Lakini wakati Kristo anapitia jia ya kwako na saa hii anapitia Jesus is passing by lazima uelewe na akili yako igudue ndani ya Kristo una ofisi ingine na ugudue hiyo ofisi umenyimwa na watu kwa maana hawana na hawapeani Jesus ndiye anapeana 
Na ukiwa hivyo sasa ufike hatua ya pili. Hata kama uko kando ya barabara akili yako imejulishwa. Even if unauza boga pale jogoro your mind imejulishwa kwamba hutaka hapo sana. Although unalia usiku na mchana I tell you kuna kitu akili yako imejulishwa. Munda wako na majira yako ya kulia imefika mwisho. Hiyo ndio stage ya pili when your mind receives the information when your mind receives secret of the kingdom i say hata kama huna plot naomba kutoka kwa ofisi ya Yesu upokee siri ya kifalme kwamba very soon unahama hiyo nyumba hallelujah hallelujah kama leo unauza shilingi mbili kwa biashara yako naomba ufaume wa Mungu uwajibie siri fulani uanze kuhisi kwamba biashara yako very soon itakuwa international itakuwa na connection haleluya haleluya but my hata kama alikaa kando ya barabara kuna kitu kiliingia kwa akili information kwamba kama ni Yesu anapitia hii route there's an office in Christ yangu ai sitakaa kando ya barabara na sita ruhusu majira haya inipite. Sita ruhusu this season inipite. Kwa maana any season ya kutembelewa kwangu. Oh watu wa bahati ya Apostle Faith Church, I tell you don't allow this season to pass by. It is season for your remembrance. It is a season of your visitation. I say it is a season of your visitation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My God, my God and my King. Hallelujah. But something interesting. Hakuna mtu anajua kitu original kama wewe na Mungu. Kama ndio yaandikwa tukifika biguni utapewa jiwe ambao limeandikwa jina ambao hakuna mtu mwingine anajua isipokuwa wewe na Jehovah. The same thing kuna kitu Mungu wako nacho although wengine wanaona kama wanajua they don't know it in original it's you and the father that's why wakati Elisha alikimbisha Elijah wana wanambi walijua Elijah atachukuliwa lakini hawakujua kwamba kuna double portion imeahidiwa Elijah there is something you know original daswali muita Elisha mjinga wewe unafuata mtu ambaye atachukuliwa anawaambia sasa you know the only thing you can tell people hold your peace because huna muda wa kuwaelezea no kuwaelezea hawezi elewa ah watu wetu tumieni muda kukibisha hii upako Elisha nakibisha Elijah no one can understand the only the only thing prophets know is that Elijah will soon be taken away but they don't know the original secret kwamba Elisha knows when you be taken away ofisi yake nitaachiwa na sitaachiwa vile ilivyo nitaachiwa ikiwa double that one was not revealed to anybody else it's between Elisha and God and I said to there's something original so original people may know mambo ya juju but the origin is between your heart and Jehovah and that's why utakapo anza kulilia bwana kilio chako you don't care what men say you don't care kama elisha you don't care maoni ya manabii na waduna wadada wengine you don't care so much you don't care so much wakati batimao alijua katika jesus there's something amegudua yesu yesu hata kama nakaa kando ya barabara is my time now is my season now is is an hour of my visitation that one was known by by Batimayo peke yake na Yesu and that's why the second step ni wakati ambapo akili yako inajulishwa haki yako na inaanza kuhama although uko kando wa barabara your mind knows you are relocating amen Batimayo akasema Yesu mwana wa Daudi ni rehemu even wanafunzi wa Yesu waliwambia nyamaza wewe nobody had revelation ya kitu tofauti 
walimjua tu kama kipo maskini you know there are times no one has a revelation ya anything new about you itabidi wewe mwenyewe ukibiria mwokozi na alipolia kabwa nyamaza wewe nyamaza beba sema akapasua akaondoa hiyo makerere ya watu jesus akaambia watu simameni sasa muiteni haleluya kipindi cha tatu ni wakati ambapo amen haleluya kitendo chenyewe chako cha baraka because it says yesu akasema muiteni wakamwambia jipe moyo anakuita sasa ni wakati ambapo ni wakuchukua hatua sasa na hapo ndipo batimayo alitoa ile jacket alikuwa amevaa kwa maana alijua hiyo jacket haitakubalika miguni mwa Kristo hiyo ni nguo ni vasi la ofisi ya umaskini akili ha kutoa hiyo vasi kwa maisha ndio vua akili ya hiyo ofisi vua attitude ya hiyo ofisi ondoa nia na feeling za mahali ulikuwa kwa maana they will not work at the feet of Jesus Christ let us something hawezi kuwa miguuni mwa Yesu and yet unafikiri kama maskini hawezi kuwa miguuni mwa Yesu and yet unafikiri kama atakuua joroge atakunyonga furani atakuagamiza at the feet of Jesus Amen. Lazima the moment unajua mimi nafika pahari Yesu ako. Ujue kuna mambo nitavua hapa hapo kwa maana pale haifanyi kazi. Na Batimayo alipofika hapo if you check the bible Batimayo alikado ya barabara alikuwa analia. Amen. Alipokuwa akienda miguuni mwa Yesu si kulia lilia ni kujitia moyo kuna wakati wa kuacha kuomba ujitie moyo you can't cry wakati umejua sasa upande ule mwingine unakuita you don't cry jipe moyo anakuita na kuna wakati wa kufika miguuni mwake ukifika hapo sio kujipa moyo sasa ni kutulia upokee maneno mawili ya mamlaka alipofika hapo aliabuaje unataka nini asema nini nataka kuona akaamua pata kuona imani yako imekuponya akapona mara moja if you check the bible carefully what happened katika aha uh-huh, verse 50 that is mark 10 verse 50 akatupa vazi lake akaruka akamwendea yesu yesu akamjibu akamwambia wataka nikufanyie nini yule kipofu akamwambia mwalimu wangu nataka nipate kuona Yesu akamwambia enenda zako imani yako imekuponya mara akapata kuona akamfuata jiani if you notice Jesus anamwambia nenda zako now wakati aliyebona nenda zako your faith has made you well akaona alipoona bible haisemi alirudi tena kado ya barabara kuna kitu ta kuambia kuna mambo kishika hivi mtu haachi mtu haachi kuna mahali ukif we kuna mahali wadu ukiingiza mungu hivi mtu haodoi kuna pahara utapewa tu kibali uingize kichwa useme na hapa sio do wakati patimao alijua amefika miguuni mwa Kristo na hapo amepata rehema na amepona bible says hakwenda zake alimfuata Yesu jiani which means amesema this office and this place and this favor see actually i have i will follow it i will follow it at the feet of jesus is a praise for my final word is praise for final word the kingdom word hallelujah the kingdom word na leo nataka kuambia hivi katika jina la Yesu Mungu amekuita katika that experience simameni sasa Jesus loves you Jesus loves you Jesus loves you 
Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Hala mashata raba shata riba rike masika. I want to something fresh. Today, kama batimayo jipe moyo. In this altar, watu wanaponywa leo. In this altar, people are getting healed. In this altar, kuna jia zinafuguka leo. In this altar, kuna neo la muisho bwana na nena. I want to speak to you, friends. Unaishi maisha ambayo. Mambo ya liyo kwenye mkono wa kume wa mugu baba. Ugetaka kuyaona kwanzia leo. Mambo ya tokao mahali yesu wa meketi. Katika mkono wa kume wa mugu baba. Yale buwana huonge hapo kuhusu mwili wako. Na kuhusu uzawa wa tubo yako. Na kuhusu doa yako. Ugetaka yanje. Time has come. Kingdom of God. Itukue na fasi sasa. Kuna mambo ya tokao juu. Mahali kitu wa me, kristo wa meketi. Ambo itaanza kwa mikono yangu mimi. Itaanza kwa nyumba yako. Itaanza kwa mwili wako. Itaanza kwa akili yako. Oh, I know umejamu chafuko wa dunia na uoga. But there are things from the throne of God that you start ruling and reigning in your soul and in your marriage and in your youth. Sikize ni kuna program ya mungu. Kuna wasichana hapa na kuta. Kuna program ya dunia imekuharibu sana. Ungeolewa hukuolewa. Ungeenda ngambo hukuenda. I tell you God is bringing you back to that program. Kuna program ya mungu ya kifaume. Kuna program ya mungu ya kifaume. Ambo ya takiwa kutenda kazi katika ywa maisha yako. Kuna program ya mungu. Inapatikana miguni mwa kristo. Where kingdom range. I want to make a prayer. I sense Jesus is waiting for you here. Father, in Jesus' name, I release kingdom now. I pashataraba. I am asata posota. Makatarabisaka. Kama vire petero alinenea kiwete. I want to give you something different. Bana, I want, I pray that you give something different. Watu walio pewa mabaki ya pesa, wapewe pesa riu. Watu walio pewa mabaki ya nguo, wapewe nguo za maana. Watu ambao wameka kando ya jia, watebe katikati ya barabara. Watu walio onewa sasa wapate haki yao. Watu ambao wanaona giza, waone nuru, miguni mwa kristo bana, fikisha maisha yangu. Fikisha maisha ya family hapa. Mika tapa seta rabo sika. Shekerere ba kata intidima. Maka tarabo sika. Shekerere ba. Tina ni masika tapa posho karima. Mantarima mosika. Rekende masaka raba babo. Shekerere ba. Rekerere ba. Mantarapo sotanima. I see something happening now. Something happening. Something happening. Something happening. Blessings at the feet of Jesus. Kingdom at the feet of Jesus. Anointing at the feet of Jesus. My final word at the feet of Jesus. My kata pasaka. Sheke nenemaya. Battle won at the feet of Jesus Christ. Sheke tapa sata rapa boso. Rike namata. Recent friends. Kuna mahali ulitarajia pesa. Na umegojea mrangu wa pesa funguke for a long, long time. Uko hapa, there is a place. Sisemi hati ufikilie. Wewe ni mtu ambaye kuna mrangu umebisha. Ukitarajia breakthrough ya finance flani. Umejaribu, umejaribu mrangu ukawa umefungika. But I want to tell something. Jesus anamurango hake. And I would like to pray for such people. There is a door of financial favor. Umekua kibisha munda mlefu. Kavujika moyo. Ina mkono wako tuju. Baba na kupenda. Baba, ina watu vizuri. Baba, katika jina la yesu. Na mshika udada. Na mshika udugu. Na shika ukijana wakanisha. Na mleta miguni mwako sasa. 
Vile Batimayo alifika hapo na hakuitwa tena kipovu alipona, hakuitwa tena maskini alipona, hakurudi kando ya barabara alitembea na wewe. Hivyo ndivyo ninaamuru. Wateule walioinua mikono kwa ikanisha. In Jesus receive your answer. I said down ya Kristo sasa pokeeni mulango ambao hutafungwa daima. Pokeeni mulango ambao hauwezi fungwa. Mulango wa kifaume hautegemei inchi hii na hali ya inchi hii. Wakati mkono wako tu kama umenjua ni nini kimetendeka badilisha akili kama vile batimao alibadilisha alipoabiwa ajipe moyo alijua hatarudi tena kando ya barabara hatarudi tena kuwa kipofu hatarudi tena kuwa muombaji kipofu alivua kila wazo la kale akijua i'm not coming back i say vua machozi hawa ambao umelia vua hiyo madharau ambao umefanyiwa vua hiyo maneno ya matusi uliyopitia kwa maana hiyo ofisi ya urudi tena and i know next time the people are coming with testimonies pokea damu ya kristo kwa wakili nafsi yako ikutangulie sasa ni masheka tapapasaka mika taposota shekerereba maka shataraba bozika thank you lord jesus christ hallelujah uko hapo wewe ni mgonjwa